Hi everyone, this is Mike at uh, Keynote Classroom here and I just wanted to do a quick video and show you uh, some neat effects you can get using the uh, the build actions in Keynote. Um, it's kind of hard to describe so let's jump right in and I will show you what, uh, what we're working on here. Uh, I'm going to choose a new document here. I'm going to go with the showroom theme uh, for no particular reason other than I haven't used it in a while. And so we're loading this up and I'm going to go ahead and go full screen here. So we can get a better view um, and the animation I would like to show you today um, allows you to kind of simulate having a uh, an earth an, an image of an earth actually kind of roll into the screen uh, and to do this I want to actually pick a different master slide I want the blank dark slide here okay perfect and what I want to do and this is kind of important is I want to zoom out a little bit let's go to maybe 75 percent the reason I want to do that is because I'm going to create or uh, bring in an image here which I'm going to have it build onto the screen in, in kind of a unique way. Now in order to do that I want to be able to see some of the space around my slide. The only way I can do that is to zoom out a bit. Uh, I will say one of the annoying things about Keynote is that they automatically have your slide hug the left side of the screen here uh, as well as the top and so it's very hard to animate objects onto the slide from the top or the left because you can't really see where they are. There's a way to do it which I can show you in another in another uh, to video. But for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring an image in here. I have a PNG image of the earth. It's kind of an icon that I'm going to upload into the slide. Here it is right here. Computer's a little slow today for some reason. Here we go. And we're going to insert that alright and there it is now very important for this to look good you want a PNG file and what that means it's gonna have a transparent background you do not want to see a white box or a black box around your object it just won't look right so when you're searching on the web you can search for PNG files and they're generally going to be transparent now what I want to achieve is the earth to appear as if it's rolling onto the slide and so to start that I need to bring it off the slide. So I'm going to drag it over here onto the side. Now if I were to play the slide right now you would not see the earth. I want to make it move in. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to start with it a little bit smaller because as I make it move in I'm also going to make it kind of roll and grow in size. So we're actually going to be using three build effects at once. So here's my inspector. I'm going to go into the build tab and with my object selected I'm going to go to an action. Now like I said we need to add three simultaneous uh, actions here and the first one is going to be the move action. Let's move this out of the way and I'm going to choose the uh, move action and you see it right there. Now what I want to do is I want to put it over here in my final spot. Okay so say I want it to be I don't know right there try and get it in the middle of the slide that looks pretty good. Excellent. So you can see in the preview here and I'll actually play it for you um, all we have so far is this which is fine but we can kind of dress that up a little bit. Uh, I'd actually like to make it look like the the earth is rolling as it comes in. So now with my earth selected I'm going to add a second action. Okay, But it's by default a second move but I don't want that so I'm going to change this move to a rotate. Okay, And I want it to rotate counterclockwise to look like it's rolling to the left and I want to do a full spin so I'm going to make the rotation 360 degrees. And let's see if that's working. Now to make this look good, see here's what it looks like right now. Right now I have the earth move in and then roll. Now we don't want that to happen. We want them to occur at the same time so it actually looks as if the earth is rolling onto the, sc to the screen. So I'm going to select that second build and I'm going to select automatically with build 1. And so now it's actually going to look like it's rolling in. Let me show you what it looks like now. So here we have the earth and it is rolling in. That looks pretty good. That's kind of neat on its own. But now I want to add some depth and to do that I want to make it actually grow and actually get bigger while it's moving and rotating. So I'm going to go ahead and add a third action. Now by default it's the same as the previous one. So right now it's added a rotate again but this one I want to be scale. I want to make it bigger. And I, I want to actually make it about two times bigger. So I'm going to go all the way up to 200%. Okay, But again, I want it to happen with build one. And so all three actions are happening at the same time here. 
Uh, I'm going to take my acceleration off on all three um, just so it's a kind of a linear acceleration and then that way it doesn't kind of it, it looks a little bit more natural okay so oh, sorry so turn that off and same with move I'm going to turn the acceleration off for the move okay and I think also I'm going to move this up a little bit and over and let's see what we got okay so here's my slide and there's the build now if it's if it's a little off to you you can tweak it one of the things I like to do is actually move the starting point over uh, it tends to make it look a little bit more natural let's see what that looks like well, that's pretty good right there uh, of course then what you could do is you could have it um, have a shadow of some sort or a reflection I think what I'm going to do is give it a little bit of a reflection no no reflection that's not working so well with this image but I can give it a little bit of a shadow with no offset and let's see what the final product is let's take a look pretty good nice little nifty animation now of course you can do this with any object I used in earth as an example I teach earth science um, but it could be any object at all you could animate a ball coming in you can animate a ball bouncing in by using curved motion paths there's really no limit to what you can do with the keynote tools thanks so much for listening and as always you can download this keynote file at keynoteclassroom.com